Hello and uh, welcome to the demonstration of my project on this thing. It's to measure the velocity of uh, you know the vehicles in a road. We have many softwares like uh, which uses digital image processing like Treasure, Turtle and there are many radar based things. So my aim was to develop a system which is which would be very much tangible, which would be uh, open source, you know, which anybody can uh, fix up anywhere. So this is the thing. Vicky, will you just please come here and uh, take the you know, the whole frame? These are basically you know tripods, and my thing works like this is these are like uh, lasers, you know, lasers, plain lasers, just encapsulated in uh, boxes, transparent boxes. And uh, these are uh, photodiodes, which would be acting as the sensors. So, what we'll be doing is, these will be acting like laser tripwires. So, uh, well, I will be crossing the first trip line. When I'll be crossing the first trip line, the counter will start. And when I'll be crossing the second trip line, the counter will stop. And it will measure your uh, seconds in time, I mean, in milliseconds, it will measure. And we uh, will keep the thing in its memory. Now, uh, measure time, it's been fixed by this microcontroller we are using. It's an open source microcontroller called Arduino. And there is a small uh, metallic thing, oscillator, crystal oscillator, 16 megahertz crystal oscillator, at which uh, the, you know, the functions are executed in the microcontroller. So this is the heart of the whole thing. It measures, it calculates, and it executes. So it is having the frequency 16 megahertz. Actually, the time, are, you know, sometimes there can be drift in time according to temperature and all that thing. So if we want to make it more precise, we can fix some real-time clock circuits, external clock circuits, which would be having minimum less, you know, drift in time due to temperature variations or. Uh, light variations or whatever may be the reasons. So right now for the lab prototype, this thing is working very hard, good for us. So what it basically does, it takes the photo, I mean, uh, measures the time, we know the fixed distance of the trip, this trip line, and we divide it to the time, we have got the velocity. Basically that's the thing, now we have a serial communication based on that. And uh, that serial, so that serial communication, we take the data, to the computer and uh, we have made a software and that also with an open source language and that is called processing yeah while we run this software you can see it will be just coming we have a webcam over here for the prototype what it will do you can just see uh, the thing getting you know videographed if you focus on here wiki please Please focus over here, this point. Just move the camera further. Okay, fine. So, here we are going to write the trip distance. This trip distance, I mean, this whole span on the page while we are setting up this system, we don't have to be constrained to a certain limit, to a certain distance. We can fix it in as much length as we want and we can measure the length between these two trip lines and can fix this data into the software later on in this way. Just put the data and press enter and it has been now fit in the blue box you can see. Yes. Now what it will do is just move forward. Uh, I will basically now make the system live, go live. There's a press switch which you know, you can see it's gone red. I mean, this is the laser, and this is the photodiode. So, I will now just walk through it, and this software will record the velocity of mine in meter per second and click a photograph as long as. The system is working hopefully. So let's see. Did it change? No. 
of it happened, it haven't changed. Uh, let me walk again. Let me just restart it. I think there are some bugs on it. Uh, just a fresh start. So now uh, I would be walking through here and uh, you would see later on and you would see later on uh, the you know the things getting logged up in an excel sheet in a .csv file the output of the velocities currently we are just measuring velocities the output of the velocities would be logged in a .csv file in the folder of the software and it will eventually click a photo of that in the field where we will be actually working on that what it will do is there will be a limit, a constraint. Uh, there will be a certain speed limit before which, I mean, if the vehicle crosses that velocity, then uh, the photo of that number plate will be taken, it will be sent to the database, that will be analyzed. I mean, this vehicle belongs to which person. And in the meantime, even without knowing that person, without that person's concern, this thing will get into his mailbox and when he will reach his home, open up his mailbox, there will be a warning letter from the police department waiting for him for breaking the speed laws. Anyways, there's all the theory. Let's see if it works. You can see over here the index value have changed and this is the current velocity of mine. Now, you can see uh, we have input the trip separation as 2.6 meters. I don't know whether that is 2.6 meters or not. But according to, if it is 2.6 meters, then this would be my velocity just now of what I have walked. So, I would just minimize it. And uh, these are the snaps that were taken. Just right now. And this is the dot CS. These are the velocities of my walking. Now, if you know, the average human's walking speed is 2.6. So, the anomalies here are showing 1.1 .1 to 1.2. Hopefully, near about 2, but not exactly 2. Maybe because the trip separation was not okay. So, what would be our next approach is that we will try to fix this on field next tomorrow evening and we would uh, try to you know, do the whole thing wirelessly. I mean the data now you can see there is a computer nearby. What if, I mean this wouldn't be tangible if we fix up a computer on the field. That's not possible. Everybody cannot fix computers on the field. So better what we would do is we will make up a serial communication wireless serial communication. We have XP radios that can communicate for uh, around 500 meters that would be enough I guess for the time being and uh, we are searching for more wireless transmission or more range wireless signal transmission transmitters like XB's XB's are like right now sexy in the market so we are using XB's and they fix up sync up very well with our open source microcontroller the software that is made as I said it's with the processing language that's a Java based uh, object oriented programming that's basically made used by visual artists and your you know interaction designers. So I want to be an interaction designer and that's why I would like to do this Arduino and processing stuff. So that's basically a Civionics project where we mix up civil and electronics. Thank you for watching. This is it.